Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com. I'm the first impression gameplay video for Shadow of Legend, free to play 2D fantasy MMORPG published by Smart Cell. Now I'll spend about 5 10 minutes running around checking the game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Shadow of Legend or just learn more about it, check it out full review on the link below. So let's go ahead and log in over here. Again, you have this soft keyboard over here that a lot of games seem to have nowadays, but it's really no use of using it, it's kind of silly. The game only has one server over here, it's called Tritasi. Now a quick history about this game before we actually log in and create our character. The game was announced originally in 2007 as this revolutionary new uh, smartphone slash PC MMORPG. The game was meant to be played on a smartphone, any internet capable smartphone, iPhones, droids and stuff like that, as well as the PC. And that would have been really cool, you know, you can play on the PC while you're home on enhanced graphics, and when you're on the go you can kind of play on your phone. But in 2008, that all stopped. They're like, you know what? We don't know how to develop for the smartphone. We're going to stop doing that because we have no idea what we're doing. And <clears throat> the whole smartphone concept was sort of trashed. And now it's just a standalone PC MMORPG with uh, uninspiring 2D graphics. But anyway, let's see how the game is right now. We have the Union and the Chaos, which are the two playable factions in the game. Uh, it looks like the Unions are the good guys and the Chaos are the bad guys. One thing I never got about a lot of these MMORPGs, there's always like an evil or chaos faction. I mean, what do these guys get out of chaos? Like, I, I, don't, I don't see their purpose in life. But that's too deep for me anyway. Let's just go. We got dwarves and what are these guys? Orcs. As the two chaos races. The classes include... Do I have to scroll over here or something? No. Let's see what we got here for the classes. How can I change my class? Down here, yeah. So we have, we have combatant, which sounds a lot like warrior. We have mage, monk, and archer. It looks like the, the the guys who made the game just didn't know how to translate warrior in Chinese or Korean, wherever this game came from, and they just left this combatant, which sounds really silly for some reason. But let's just go with we're gonna be we're gonna be orcs because they have probably have the highest strength, and let's go with this guy. XP bonus 100%. I can't complain about that. They both have XP bonus 100%. So let's go ahead and log in with remote a. create. He looks pretty ugly over there. And in the character creation screen, a lot of you guys saw, there's absolutely no character customization whatsoever. You go with the default look, and that's it. So I am level 0, it seems, which is pretty brutal, but let's see what happens when I get in the game. It'll probably throw me off at level 1. And it just says that the login screen. Ah, the orcs. The orcs could never have understood what divine providence is. Instead, with their advent in this world, a tragedy was put on stage. What? Alright, I'm, I'm not even going to try reading this or make sense of it. It's probably going to be terrible English. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, so here we are. It doesn't tell me what town I'm in, but we are somewhere. We are surrounded by elite Grey Rock combatants. And, and a various piggies. So let's go kill one of these guys. Alright, it looks like this avaricious piggy is a tough guy. And he's not even attacking me back, which is pretty weird. Graphically speaking, the game looks a lot like Conquer Online, EU Demons Online from TQ Digital, with the whole top-down camera feel. Uh, I can't kill those aver avaricious piggies for some reason, so let's keep wandering around over here. I mean, the game kind of just threw me in the game world without really doing anything or telling me where to go. So I can't kill these guys, but I don't know why I started near them if they're so tough. Is there any easier stuff to kill over here or no? Let's just keep wandering around. The game's player base is pretty low. There's only one server in the game. And I just cruised on the game's forms while I was downloading the game. And from what I've seen on the forums, the biggest complaint with the game, and this is really the only way to really find out about this right away, is that the GMs just really don't care about the game. I mean, it comes down to a lot like uh, Age of Armor. There's a lot of hacks in the game, a lot of hackers, and people just ruining the game. One guy was complaining the, that he sent, you know, there's the in-game mail system, kind of like in WoW, he can send items. He sent the mail to his friend, and neither of them ever got it. It got lost in mail, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But there's a lot of dupes in the game, hacks, and just everything to ruin the game. And the GMs are just very slow to patch it, if they ever patch it. I mean, if you, and the official website is pretty funny because the latest update was in like 2008. But on the forums, there, the GMs are still a little bit more active. And I have no idea where I am. What am I supposed to do? Can I go outside town and kill stuff? Uh, maybe I can kill this lucky piggy. Avaracious piggies are too much for me, but maybe I can handle the lucky piggies. Nope, it looks like I can't kill these guys either. Why am I so gimp? Let's go outside town. Do I have a map? Yeah, we have a map over here. Wow, it's a pretty big area. M does bring up the map, and you can see things pretty clearly. Oh, thank God, they have this awesome feature. This is something a lot of games do nowadays, so it's kind of cool to see this game have it. You can kind of left-click anywhere on the map, and your character will automatically move there. 
And the game even traces a little line to show you how you get there. Which is nice. I mean, this makes just getting around the game world a lot easier. Especially when the game world is really big and kind of confusing. So, maybe you can find some easier monsters outside of town. The music in the background is pretty... is nothing special, but eh. At least the game has music. Age of Armor didn't have any music. Just not my character over here, my level 1 combatant. So yeah, the game lied. I wasn't level 0, I was level 1. I got a hammer, charmed milk, alright, and an apple. Let's find somebody to kill now. These little dots on my radar. Infected boars, come on, level 1. Level 11? Holy crap, why are there level 11 outside of town? Shouldn't there be level 1s in this area? Wow. But inflamed lion. You know, I I'm gonna try my luck on the inflamed lion. Are they all level 11? Yeah, everything's level 11. If I can't kill this guy, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, I think I am in trouble. And it's just kind of hard to attack these guys for some reason. Because when they move, you just like, kind of retarget them with your cursor, and it's a lot more its a lot more difficult than it looks. <laughs> yeah, I can't kill this inflamed lion. Why on earth the game is throwing me in this high level area is, is beyond me. Let's find some lower level enemies. Maybe down here? Sure as heck isn't up there. And this is something I've noticed a lot of games do. Like, if you if you exit town the wrong way, I know Zaya Rebirth did that as well. You get these high level monsters that, like, one shot you. At least I'm not getting one shot though. Ooh, tin ore. So, you can see that at least the game has a resource gathering system, which is something. Alright, let's see what else we got over here. I want to see my. Wow, we have a skill tree over here, which is pretty deep. So, it looks like after you start progressing in the skill tree over here, you can start breaking off into other classes. You can get an armor man, gladiator, defender. It all depends how you kind of work your way through the skill tree, which is really nice. Barbarous warrior, berserker. So the game does have a lot of variety. Every class in the game, I imagine. The four classes, which isn't a lot of classes, but... all Each of the four classes have these the same, you know, four these deep skill trees. We got living skills as well for the resource gathering in the game. So in terms of variety, the game you know, has that pretty much covered. It just looks like the biggest problem is I can't find anything to kill right now. And that the GMs really don't care about the game. And that can really ruin a game, because no matter how good a game is... If the developers and the publisher just really does, you know, aren't going all out with it, aren't trying their best to keep it updated, the game can get ruined very quickly. So many people on the forums complain about hacks, the characters getting deleted, the the game is screwing up overall. So let's go back to somewhere else. Hopefully I can kill something easier where I am now. Nope. We are going to go back outside town and kill some higher level monsters again. The game's level cap though was like 90 plus and experience is supposed to be pretty fast paced. Which is kind of like one of the game's features. I mean, the advertising got the faster paced experience. But the problem is, I can't kill anything. Come on. Maybe I'm just doing something horribly wrong. If I am, somebody please tell me. But right now, I'm going outside town, which you're supposed to do. And I can't do anything. Maybe I'm supposed to be questing until level 11. Which I'm, I'm going to see if I can quest. Let's click on this exclamation mark. Welcome to the 30 days. Nope, welcome to the 7 days now. Adventure Association. I don't want to read this. The translations aren't going to be good. You have been the focus of attention ever since you turned up here. You already found place in a file record of adventurers. Blah blah blah. Reply. That's no point. It's an NPC talking to me. I don't want to reply to him. Can I close this out? Yep. I think I, I can't do anything outside town. Let's go back inside town. Maybe I can grab a quest or something to level me up a little bit. The game's cash shop is over here if you want to buy some stuff. Map over there. We got our mailbox system. And we got attack. Is anybody talking to the game? Oh, this guy has a quest for me. Gilder Takola. Equipment manufacturing. Let's just agree to the quest. Good stuff. I don't want to do it though. Let's find an easier quest. I don't want to make stuff. Come on. I want to just get higher level. ASAP. Okay, no. Let's bring up L for my quest. I need to do this. Ooh, 1,000 experience. Alright, we're doing this. I don't want to read all this. Why can't they give me a nice little summary? Try to find the crafting master. Alright, that's good. Just find the crafting master. Is he outlined on the map? Nope. He is not over here. I have to I have to literally search every one of these guys for the, the crafting master. How terrible is that? Couldn't he be at least like glowing on my screen? Oh, he's right there. Is that him? Yeah, boy. Crafting tutor. He's not the crafting master. He's the crafting tutor. The game is lying to me, but it is crafting tutor over here. Actually, I can just click on him over here to get there, which makes it a lot easier. And that's the same system in Red Cliff. I know in Red Cliff, if you click on it, you just get there automatically. So I just got level 2 already. Good stuff. Any other quests for me to do? Because that was awesome. So I guess in order to leave town, I gotta complete these lower level quests first. Otherwise, you're gonna get owned outside of town. Did I get any skill points or stat points? So it, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like I get stat points per level and you get those kind of just automatically as you level up rather than as you play and just level up. Let's see. 
I just keep walking around town over here looking for new quests. So I gotta keep my eye open for these because for some reason there's no exclamations on their heads. Though there was a dude with a red thing over here. No, those are just more those pigs that are high level. So I gotta find quests in town, but for some reason not marked. I mean it would be a lot easier if the quests were marked on the map. I mean it's pretty stupid that they aren't. I mean in most games now they are marked. And this, this comes down to convenience. I mean some guys you know, some of you guys might say, oh it's too easy that way, but come on, there's nothing else for me to do. If I don't complete these quests, I can't go outside town. There's a mu mushroom cultivator. Cool guy. He's got a fun job. He cultivates mushrooms. I, I like the emoticon he makes over here with the Kirby face. Let's find some more quests. No, these avaricious piggies don't die. You can't kill them. So, I've yet to bump into another player either. Well guys, I am running out of time. If you guys do want to play Shadow of Legend, just check it out full review on the link below. Later guys.